so shocked. I was looking online the other day and I saw this video on YouTube where these two guys charged an iPod with two onions in series. And for some reason, I think that in a lemon would be a way better way to charge an iPod because of the acidity, but I really don't know why. All right. Well, in a lemon, like you said, there is higher acidity. And you can use that acidity to better catalyze an oxidation reduction reaction between a galvanized uh, nail and a copper penny. So if you put both of those into a lemon, mm -hmm. they act as electrodes. Okay. And you can hook them up to a voltmeter, and you will get almost a volt which is great, but you can't really charge much with a single volt. Oh. And you can hook up a bunch of these in series and you know, add, your, add voltage, right. but it's pretty impractical. So there's, after doing a little research, I found one of the first batteries was called a voltaic pile. And it's a lot more convenient, but works on the same principle. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at that. Here we have a battery, and inside the battery there are chemical reactions that cause these positive charges to move up to the positive plate of the battery. And as long as the chemical reactions are sustained in the battery, this will allow there to be a constant potential difference between the positive and the negative um, plates of the battery. And But instead of using a battery, we are going to use stacked pennies, and Sean will explain that to you. In our battery, we're essentially going to have a bunch of small batteries in series. So each penny that we have is uh, sanded down on one side so that it has a zinc, uh, a zinc bottom and a copper top. So if this is our copper top and this is our zinc bottom of another penny, we'll have our cardboard soaked in lemon juice. This is going to act as a dielectric and it's going to allow the lemon juice to uh, to react with the copper and the zinc surfaces and allow for the exchange of electrons. So we'll get a potential difference set up through a series of chemical reactions and we'll have our final uh, potential difference between the last two pennies in the pile. So we'll have our copper, which will be our positive electrode, and our zinc, which will be our negative electrode. The materials that we used for this experiment were several pennies, which we actually filed down so that there is a copper side and a zinc side. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to stack the pennies so that the copper side and the zinc sides are alternating so that the, the current will flow a lot better through them. And we are also using alligator clips to attach on both sides of the power source power source, which is our pennies, and then we are using a voltmeter to measure the voltage. We're going to use rubber bands to hold our stacks together. And we also have these pennies that have been soldered uh, to a wire so that we can connect them in series and also connect them to our voltmeter more easily. Other than that, we're going to be using uh, these small pieces of cardboard that are soaked in lemon juice and those are going to act as dielectrics between the pennies. Finally, if you want to charge an iPod, you need a charging cable, and you also need the iPod. We're going to have to cut this in half in order to do it, but they're not that expensive, so it's not a big deal. So what's going on now is in order to construct the voltaic pile, you need to take all the pennies that are sanded down on one side and face them all in the same direction. In between each one, you're going to insert a piece of cardboard that's soaked in lemon juice. And you want to keep, uh, you want to keep putting them in series like this until you get the desired number and your desired potential difference. After a while, after you've been stacking, you're going to get something that looks like this. We've so got, we've got our. Uh, soldered pennies at the end of the wire so it's easier to hook up to our alligator clips. And when we hook it up to a voltmeter, we are going to get 
just about 14 and a half volts. And luckily, all we need to charge an iPod is about 12. So let's do that. So in order to charge our iPod, we have a charging cable. But if you've probably noticed that the USB plug doesn't exactly plug into pennies. So we're going to have to actually cut the cable and strip it down so that we have a positive and a negative wire. And then we're going to put that into our stack of pennies. So let's start by cutting it. If I could only get a clean cut. There we go. And then you're going to want to strip off a little bit of the wire. without actually cutting through any of the interior wires. Once you've got your main wire stripped, you're going to have all these different things and you're going to have to separate them. So you're going to want to take this kind of fibrous, metallic, uh, like uninsulated wires and kind of just push them off and down. Then you're going to have this layer of insulation that can just get torn off. The last thing you're going to have are this little piece of yellow string, which is not important. And then you're going to have four wires, a green one, a white one, a red one, and a black one. You're going to want to strip the red and the black one. Alright, so now you have your stripped cable and you have your battery all set up. You're going to take the positive cable and hook it up to the red wire that you stripped earlier. And you're going to take the negative cable and hook it up to the black wire. Put that down, make sure they don't touch. And pray that it turns on. And plug it into your iPod. And there you go. That's how to charge an iPod with Yay. pennies, pennies and lemon juice. And lemon. Woo. Look at that. Nice work, yeah. guys. When we first measured our voltage and we got 15 volts, we thought that we would need 12 volts to charge our iPod because that's what it said on the charger. For a wall charger. But a USB cable, which we measured when we cut the, the cable in half, only carries 5 volts. And we actually got it to charge with only about four. So that's all you need. It's a success with four volts. Like actually okay, okay, get it. Yeah, yeah, we got Hold it. Hold on, let me turn it off. Okay. Turn it off. Turn Oh, it's charging. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Charging! Mission accomplished. Okay.